at the instance shown, link CD with an angular velocity of 6 right here is subject to a couple moment also there of 450 newton meters. To determine the force uh, developed in link AB and the horizontal vertical component at pin B, D, and the angular acceleration of link CD at this instant, the block has a mass of 50 mil kilograms. Center of mass at G. Neglect the, la the mass of links A, B, and C, D. Let's start by drawing a free body diagram. It's kind of dark on here, so. Got little bumps here. MG down. And, uh, not good at all. Okay. Now, this rod has a moment on it, so it's obviously pushing up. So we'll have a force at D in the uh, Y direction. This link is not pushing up. It's just riding. So it's not going to cause a force in the y direction of B. But since the whole thing is rotating around, there will be a centripetal force. So an F D X here and an F uh, B X here. Um, <coughs> We can solve for this force directly, because here we have four unknowns. So we're going to have three equations, some of the forces of the x, some of the forces of the y, some of the moments about g. So let's, we need to solve for at least some of these now. So let's go ahead and solve for f dy, because we have the moment. That moment is causing the force. So the moment is equal to the force times the distance. And the moment is for. 50, the force is F B Y D Y, and the distance is the length here, which is 0.6. So F D Y is equal to 750 newtons. Now, since we have that, we can solve for the uh, do the some of the forces. So some of the forces in the x direction. Okay, in the x direction, we have f dx plus f bx, and those combined are going to be equal to m omega squared rho. Same thing as mv squared over r. So f dx plus f bx equals 50 times 6 squared times 0.6 omega 6 distance 0.6 which equals 1080. Let's rearrange this since we're going to end up with two equations or three equations, three unknowns. We'll write this f dx is equal to 1080 minus f bx. So eventually we'll substitute that into something else. So let's sum the forces in the y. And uh, in this case we have mg down and we've got f dy up and that is equal to ma, the acceleration upward of the block. So mg is going to be negative 50 times 9.81, 50 kilograms for the block, plus f dy, which is 750, equals ma 50 times a. Solving for that, 
a is equal to 55.19. Uh, the question asks for uh, the angular acceleration of CD. So we have A and uh, A equals alpha R. So alpha is equal to A over R which is equal to 5.19 over 0.6 which is equal to 8.65 radians per second squared. Okay, so <clears throat> We solve for that. We still have two unknowns here. So let's sum the forces, or sum the moments about G. Center gravity. So if we sum the moments about G here, mg doesn't matter, it goes through G, we have F dy. So F dy is causing a positive rotation. So F dy times this distance here, which is 0.1. Then we have F dx, which is also causing a positive rotation. So plus F dx times its distance, 0.4. And uh, F bx causes a negative rotation negative fbx also times 0.4 and those are equal to zero because there's no rotation around g in fact that's the only place there's no rotation now um, we know f dy is 750 so 750 times 1 is 75 0.4 f dx minus 0.4 f bx equals 0. Let's take this and substitute it in right there. So 75 plus 0.4 1080 minus f bx minus 0.4 f bx equals 0 and FBX equals 634 so FDX equals 1080 minus 634 equals 446 and they're both Newtons <laughs>